Hey guys, here's something you don't often see these days anymore. Uh, this is a Desert Eagle Pistol Israeli Military Industries IMI made in Israel. And over there, Magnum Research Inc. So this is a baby eagle. Um, so these were brought in, so the baby eagle, or the uh, Uzi eagle, <laughs> was originally uh, called the Jericho 941, and this is the last iteration of the Jericho 941, and so what it was, it was uh, designed by uh, IMI, and it was called the 941 because with it came the 41 Action Express. And the idea was that you have an, uh, you could use a 9mm nine nine mil barrel with it, and you could just swap the barrel out, put a 41 barrel in there, and then use 41 Action Express. Now, 41 had a rebated rim the same size as 9, and then the, uh, the bullet diameter was actually 41. So very similar to the 40 Smith & Wesson. But where the 40 is a true 40, uh, the 41 Action Express was, uh, the bore size was 0 0.410. So that's why it was called the uh, the 941, as in this case. This is my personal uh, pistol. And so it started off looking like this, kind of taking cues from the, uh, from the Desert Eagle, although the two are completely unrelated. This is closer to a CZ-75 or a Tanfoglio than it is to the Desert Eagle. Um, it's just got the kind of triangular look up front and uh, so it's got, got the slide mounted safety uh, which is a, a hammer drop. So this is what the 941 looks like. They move the safety down from the slide to the frame and change the shape of the slide stop but the general general shape kind of looks the same. They added a pick rail or accessory rail on that on, on the new one. This one's got a little rubber sleeve over. So this one's come in for new sights. The old sights were didn't have the uh, you know the I don't know whatever that is. Tritium wasn't glowing anymore. So what is interesting about it is the way they achieved the uh, the hammer drop. I'll take it down, show you. Line it up like a CZ. The two dots over there. Push up the slide stop. Captive, uh, captive recoil rod, which I think is clever. It's just pure CZ or ten foglio inside. What actuates the the hammer drop is when you when you put the safety on. You can see the firing pin is being withdrawn. Kind of gets pulled into the uh, into the uh, frame, and I bet it's in it's in two two halves, and it pushes down, and then that little divot pops out over there. So if I put it on, that comes out. When you take it off, that pulls back in. And all it does is that little divot just pushes on the sear over there, right there, and then drops the hammer. <laughs> as simple as that. Unbelievably simple. Inside, pure CZ-75, probably more tan foglia with the way the, the mag release uh, comes in. And then the latest iteration of it, it's got the, um, the frame mounted safety. And you can see it's got the same sear right there. If, if it had, it would drop it, and I'm not going to put that slide on there to see if it will work. But it's got a firing pin block, where this one doesn't have the firing pin block because um, the safety turns the firing pin out of alignment. What is interesting is that the newer gun does not have a captive uh, recoil spring. So kind of step in the wrong direction there for them. And assembly is just reverse order. Typic, typical CZ, CZ barrel. 
with the cam at the bottom. And then I like this uh, recoil captive, I don't know why. Uh, ten for uh, um, IWI could make that, but not uh, not the other companies. Full uh, full slide rails, as a, just like a CZ. Pretty neat. Hope you found that interesting, guys. Stay safe. We talk again. Cheers.